name is Victoria Owensby. Most people call me Vicky. Except my extended family, they call me Vic, which I don't like very much, but there's nothing I can do about it. I turned 50 years old this year, so really I could be most of your mother. I'm that old. I have two children. One is 21 and the other is 27. My son, who's 27, goes to Charleston School of Law, and my daughter goes to Case Western University in Ohio, and she'll graduate this year, and she's been accepted into a Ph.D. program in chemistry at MIT. Go Anna! I live in Greenville, South Carolina, and we've lived there for about 25 years. I was married for 30 years, but last year my husband died. so. I'm a widow now, and that's when I decided I should go back to school so I can get a job that pays a living salary. I haven't been in school since 1983. At that time, I went to IU Bloomington, and I had about five classes left to go, speech being one of them, so that's why I'm taking the speech class. It's not quite as hard as it was when I was 18, but it's still, I'm not that good at it. So I hope to gain some more confidence and experience and improve my speech abilities. Although as you get older, it does get a little easier because you get more used to it. I've had to speak in front of groups before, groups of parents usually. And it does become easier the more you do it. My PRPSA score, though, was a 129, so it was a high end of moderate scale, almost a high. So, it still makes me nervous. Um, what, I hope, what I hope to do is go to graduate school and study education, and I hope to work one day with curriculum or research in early childhood development. The work I do now is with developmentally delayed preschoolers and I've done that for about 10 years before that. I worked as a teacher and a director of preschools. I even had my own preschool once called Shalom Kids. In my free time, I like about anything outdoors. I like to hike and camp fish. I enjoy cooking very much, especially for other people. I like art and music and movies. And one of the most interesting things that I've ever done was our family went camping at Edisto Island in South Carolina and we camped right on the beach. It was just beautiful. And on Edisto Island they're known for their loggerhead sea turtles. So we learned a lot about them when we were there. One thing we learned was you can't shine lights at all on the beach at night because it distracts the turtles from knowing where to go because they depend on the moonlight to bring them on the shore to lay their eggs and to have the little sea turtles go back into the water after they've hatched. So one night we walked along the beach, it was pitch black, and we stumbled upon a giant loggerhead sea turtle, and it was kind of scary because they're huge. I mean, they're like a thousand pounds. And we touched it, and it was like so old, it felt like touching a dinosaur. It was really amazing, actually, to be able to have seen that in nature. And we watched her for a while, go up to the dune. She went really slowly. Finally made it to the top and began to lay her eggs. And also a couple days later we got to see another nest of loggerhead sea turtles hatch and they, about a hundred of them walked back to the ocean. They all made it back to the ocean but we heard only about one survived out of the whole hundred into adulthood. But I hope it does, and I hope one day everybody will be able to visit 
at a snow island. It's a great place. Thank you very much.